All right, in this scene over here, we're going to talk about the rotator cuff muscles. And we're going to make it a lot of fun. So let's begin. Over here we see the four rotator cuff muscles inserting on the humerus. Let's color code these muscles in order to make it clearer. We have the teres minor over here in green, the infraspinatus in blue, the supraspinatus in dark blue, which we can see better from this angle, and the subscapularis in orange over here. We can see that the first three muscles that we mentioned insert on the greater tubercle, whereas the subscapularis inserts on the lesser tubercle. But let's make this scene a lot more fun and memorable. Let's take a look at what we have over here. We've added some elements in order to make this a lot of fun. Here we have Terry over here. Terry, I guess they call him Terry because he likes to tear his clothes, who is a minor. Terry who is a minor for Terry's minor. This muscle over here is the Terry's minor. But we note that Terry over here likes to carry around this axe with him. This axe over here reminds us that Terry's minor is innervated by the axillary nerve. And we can tell by the location of the Terry's minor over here that it's responsible for external rotation of the humerus as well as adduction. Let's move on to the next muscle. Here we have the infraspinatus in blue, and on the infraspinatus we see this infrared gun over here. It shoots out this infrared light, infrared light for infraspinatus. And just like Terry's minor, the infraspinatus is involved in external rotation. Let's move on to the next one. Superman over here is going to remind us of supraspinatus. And the fact that both the infraspinatus and supraspinatus are in blue are going to help us remember that they're both innervated by the same nerve. And in this case, it happens to be the suprascapular nerve. So again, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus are both innervated by the suprascapular nerve. And we can tell by the supraspinatus' position that it's involved in abducting the arm. And just to be clear, this is before the action of the deltoid. Finally, we come to the subway sandwich over here, which reminds us of the subscapularis. This muscle over here that inserts on the lesser tubercle is the subscapularis. And the innervation for this is easy, the subscapular nerves, the upper and lower subscapular nerves. And again, we can tell by the location of this muscle over here that it's involved in internal rotation and adduction of the arm. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on the rotator cuff muscles. Take care.